Catherine never compelled me. I knew everything, every step of the way. It's real for me. All these sort of crazy things that he does, you now see why. And you start to sort of be able to put the pieces together and understand, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's kind of the old adage, you know, it's one of those things, love conquers all kind of thing. And even with someone, you know, this maniacal, crazy guy, he, at the end of the day, is so in love that it's making him, it's making him do some crazy stuff. And I think that, that it's one of those things that, that you have to sort of look at. And, 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 and while it would be very difficult for us to agree with what he's doing, We've all been in love, and we all know how powerful that is. And um, I'm not saying Damon is, uh, that we're agreeing with him, but he is very justified in what he's doing. We do open the tomb. We do open the tomb um, at some point. And what's beyond that tomb, is your guess is as good as mine, uh, what it really means for it to open. But it is, it, it is a point in which things start to change, for sure. Which is exciting. I just wanted to get in there. Please, let's open the thing. Well, this time yesterday, I was, um, I think it was about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And we were, I was shooting a scene and we're outside. And there's a moment when you start to feel, you know, your extremities start to burn a little bit and you start to realize because you don't normally just walk out and hang out in cold like that. But I had to shoot these scenes. And, and so while the, the camera's rolling, I have to be in that cold. And I was realizing as I'm sitting there and I'm in the scene, and, and, and I'm in the scene, but I could feel th my body physically changing as I go up, you know? And then you yell, cut. And then I look around, and all you see are these people. It looks like, it looked like a North Face commercial. You know, everyone's in all this really thick, heavy parkas. You can only see people's eyes. And I just looked around and thought, wow, this is what it would look like if I lived in Siberia, except I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. And, um, it, uh, and they're all sitting there looking at me going, wow, I can't believe he doesn't have any clothes on. And you, you realize that we, you know, we're in Southern California right now. And, and the hu we're just, because I was thinking, Damon wouldn't really feel this. But he is, and I have to figure out what to do with that energy, you know. Um, it was a unique experience. Favorite moments. Well, Damon gets to kiss a lot of girls. Those are always fun. Um, you know what? One of my favorite, one of my favorite scenes was um, when when Damon and Stefan, when Stefan starts uh, mimicking Damon and, and impersonating him and making fun of him, and Paul and I got to sort of go back and forth and, and, uh, and do that with each other. Because it's great to see what he thinks I look like, and it's great. I know I like to, for him to see what I think he looks like, and uh, it's pretty spot on. We just sort of, we nailed each other on those. And, uh, it's always so, it's, it's great to just be able to poke fun at someone that you, you know, know that well and trust that much. And that, it was a, that, was, a, that was a lot of fun. I, I would definitely say one thing that's going to happen is, is that um, we, do, we do really get to the root of what's in that tomb, what it means to the town and to all these characters. I mean, so much is built up. If, you know, Damon comes back to Mystic Falls and he wants to, he wants one thing in particular. And... Uh, and I think he's going to get that. In whatever way, shape, and form, he's going to get what he's looking for.